All right, you're looking at the N3441 from a Veritech. Very nice, ultra thin, very portable laptop. Uh, it's kind of into that new segment of low power processors uh, with good battery life, thin profiles, uh, no optical drive. But if that is a big turnoff for you, no optical drive, check this one out. This one comes with its own uh, optical drive, which is really nice, external, plugs in with USB, uh, which is really cool. And you have to plug it in, but uh, very convenient because personally, I think that the optical drive industry in general and the media is just dead. I just don't use discs. I download everything. iTunes from music, movies from Netflix. I mean, who uses a disc anymore? I remember the last time someone said, oh, you need to install this software and gave me a disc. Uh, but some people really still like having a DVD drive. And this is perfect because you only use it when you need it. The rest of the time, look at this. You get this extremely thin, beautiful, gorgeous, low profile laptop. Uh, it's probably just over an inch thick. It's very light. It's very thin. It looks beautiful. Check out the back, all metal. Uh, it has like an aluminum finish. You're not going to get smudges on there. It looks really pretty. And then when you go to the front, uh, it is a glossy screen with a glossy panel black bezel, uh, which makes your colors pop, makes them look saturated and, and deep and vivid. But uh, the entire front, all the keyboard, all the palm rest, and the trackpad are all very, very matte. Uh, and they're very much resistant to fingerprints, which is very important because I can't stand fingerprints on my laptop. Um, so that's what you're looking at there. Now, let's talk a little bit about the operating system and the specifications and the internals. First of all, uh, this is actually a Intel uh, Pentium processor. It is a dual core. It's actually the T4200, uh, which is a two gigahertz dual core. It's got three gigabytes of DDR2 memory, and it's got uh, a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Graphics are powered by the XMA4500 HD chipset which means that it will do an HD video if you throw uh, that on there. It won't have any problems. Uh, now, let's go for a quick tour of the outside. I want to show you, uh, starting off from the left-hand side, we have your AC adapter. Uh, your fan louver goes right here. Moving on down, you have uh, a USB 2.0 port. This is the one that I believe is powered. Four-in-one card reader right to there. Uh, the front doesn't really have anything on it. You will notice over here, though, there are a few indicator lights uh, on the far right-hand side. And those are basically Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, caps lock, num lock, hard drive activity, and then battery. Uh, now, here's where the majority of the ports are. Uh, SPDIF output, uh, microphone input, two USB 2.0 ports, bringing the total uh, to three. And then right in here, nice and hidden, uh, which I actually like, is the 10100 Ethernet. Very nice, and actually, I apologize, it's 10100-1000 or gigabit Ethernet, so that's a little bonus, 10 times faster. Also, a VGA port is right there, and all of this connectivity is complemented by N-Draft Wireless, which is very nice. It's up to 300 megabit per second. Very, very nice. Uh, also, right over here at the top, I will point your attention to the very nice little uh, 1.3 megapixel webcam uh, that is sitting right up here. Very, very nice. Uh, that DVD drive, I already mentioned the RW. It is a DVD plus minus RW, so it will do basically uh, all the formats and media formats that you can think of. Also, uh, this very nice little, uh, what, what, what do you call this material, producer Dan? Suede. suede? Is it, yeah, this is suede. Very nice. It's like a suede case for it. Uh, it says a Veritech, and it's really soft, and it can double as a screen cleaner because it's so soft. I and mean, you probably shouldn't do this, but it's very soft, and I'm sure it won't, won't scratch it. Uh, and that's basically it. Very nice. Uh, now, just so you guys know, operating system, Windows 7, home premium, 64-bit. Uh, so it is going to take advantage uh, of those three gigabytes of memory. Uh, 250 gigabyte hard drive is plenty big, especially for a portable system. You're usually not taking everything with you. Uh, and you can always burn something to a DVD if you need more space. Uh, and that's basically it. Very nice system now. Uh, this is the 3400 series from a Veritech. But get this. This is the full model number for this version. It's the N3441T, uh, but the configuration is the F1E1. Uh, so keep that in mind. That's the 250 gig hard drive, 3 gigs of RAM, the T4200, 2 gigahertz Pentium dual core processor, uh, and this battery, this size screen, et cetera, et cetera. By the way, WXGA, which is 1280 by 800, 13.3 uh, inch diagonal means pretty small, pretty portable, but it's not netbook size. It's not an 11.2 inch big netbook or a 10 inch really small netbook. Uh, it's big enough to use as a daily computer. You can edit a picture on here. You can do spreadsheets. You can do word processing. You can actually work on here. The keyboard is plenty large uh, for typing notes. If you're a student, it's very nice for that because it's extremely portable. Fits in with a few notebooks. It's not like you need a separate notebook bag with a charger and then a very good battery is going to last you for quite a bit. Uh, so very, very nice laptop. Uh, the Averitech N3441T. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me and I will see you guys next time. For more information on the Averitech N3400 series widescreen ultra portable notebook, type in A69-13302 into any major search engine.